Hello. I haven't done a live video for a while um, and it is always challenging for me but um, today I I read a post um, actually it was like a support asking post um, from someone um, who told she needed sexual healing and um, who had difficulties with sexuality and um, and who who felt that it is really challenging even touching themselves and I know that there are so many women and men actually as well like this and I think it is so sad and and the sad part is that that it's when you can't find safety in your sexuality when it is not um, around you then it is really really hard to enjoy so I really wanted to talk about this and what can you do because there are things that you can do uh, not to be sexually like driving or something not to be the kind of uh, image that we have what sexually well and sexually um, amazing people are but how to create your own kind of um, definition and um, and uh, place and container I call it the, your bubble <laughs> or playground because you can do that and it's important to do that one of the things that I find um, very challenging and this is the sad part is that we all have kind of a vision or image of what sexuality is how it should look like how you should feel what your partner should do what sh what you should enjoy what you shouldn't enjoy and all of the stuff so and that image is coming from all the childhood memories whatever you've seen in the movies what people are telling you what you read in the newspapers some of this stuff is not even something that you consciously um, created for yourself or choose to have in your life and that part is so 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 um, hard to um, change when you don't know how to do that and some people doesn't even know that they can do that they can change that you have to have the right to change things you have the right to choose the kind of sexuality the kind of experiences that feel good to you and it doesn't have to be like uh, society or your even your partner or whoever including me is telling you it is all about you it is all about what is going to work for you and sometimes you don't know that and that's a good thing when you don't know what works for you in sexuality you can work on that it's like a blank canvas uh, in the sense that you can learn the skills to really really find out what is going on for you what is the next thing that you like you don't have to uh, compromise or create the kind of experiences that you think you should enjoy but you can create a new playground a new territory for yourself so the first thing is that you um, acknowledging and being aware of what do you think sexuality is for you sexuality can be so many things including not touching yourself just feeling yourself being feeling erotic feeling sexual feeling alive whatever is causing that for you it can be um, that you just give yourself space and you are connecting to yourself for me that's sexual too and it's totally fine if some people think differently being sexual it's not penetration being sexual is not how sexy you are for somebody it is it can be so many things so it starts with you finding out what is going on in your body in your imagination in your being and what feels good for you and if you feel like I don't even want to touch myself it doesn't feel good for me then don't do that don't force things on yourself that um, that you just feel that 
they are yucky for you, that you don't want them. Don't do that. I had that, I, I, sometimes I'm feeling like, of course, it is hard to create a safe space for yourself in sexuality when you think that there is something that you should do, then there is an agenda or something or, or that you have to go through. And this is what sexuality, sexuality is. You are. You can feel afraid. You can feel anxious. You can feel so many. It, it can be exciting as well when you have this agenda, but sometimes, just really, really feeling that I have the freedom to choose if I touch myself or not. This is where it starts to be free. This is where it starts to express yourself authentically. This is where it starts to connect to yourself. So. It all starts with this part and it's totally fine. So when you start to attune to yourself and feeling inadequate quite or feeling that, oh my God, uh, I should enjoy something. I should already enjoy like touching myself or just thinking about sex and you just stop for a second, take a deep breath and you just tell to yourself that this is about me, this is about what I enjoy, this is about what feels good for me and it's nothing else matters and in that second you can choose what's next and I know that this on its own it's challenging for so many of you sometimes because you feel you are numb and you don't know what to do next so many times I, um, I hear that from people that they um uh that your partner tells you and it's totally valid question like what do you want what do you like in bed and you don't know the answer and and you just feel like i have i have no idea and it's totally fine if you say that i want to explore because i don't know yet i don't know in that second what would feel good for me but i'm here to be present and let's see what's going to uh, arise next. So you actually have all the right to do that, to say that, and it's fine if you don't like so many things. And it's totally fine to like anything that is going to happen with you. Both of them are valid experiences. It is all about what is true for you, what is authentic for you, what is making you feel like uh, oh my god, I this is an experience, this is something that I didn't know of myself. So if even touching yourself is a challenge and you feel like you don't want to do that, then don't do that. Just be with yourself. You can just close your eyes and and connect with your body. Like how how are you feeling? Start with that. How are you feeling? Is there any part in your body that feels good? Mm. Can you um, can you make it more loud that feeling? Can you make it more intense? Or maybe you can't. You just even you don't even want to. You just want to experience that. I in this moment I just feel like my heart is undulating and there is some pulsation. I can feel my my feet and my soles um, tingling. Or whatever is going on, just start to feel sensations, what's going on. Do you feel a calling to do anything, like um, uh, touching yourself in a way that I'm just holding? Or not touching yourself, just holding your hand here and feeling like you are sending warmth from your hand or loving energy? That's actually that also can be a sexual experience it is a connection it is aliveness involved your body involved your senses are involved your whole inner world is touched by non-touching just being present for yourself so start with creating this kind of safe place for yourself when you can explore when you can have experiences when you are free to feel whatever is coming up and just be with that.
So it starts with that kind of sensation. I really wanted to talk about this because I think that's the foundation and it is so needed to tell people that they have the right to feel whatever they feel. It doesn't matter what um, your partner thinks that you should feel, what you think you should feel even, just what it is present, what is going on inside of yourself, what um, and what is the next step for you. And maybe it was just like 30 seconds and you said, okay, I'm freaking out now, uh, I need to do something else, it's fine. What I suggest is just like start to look around in the room, like see some colors, put, uh, put your hand to like what's, be what's below you, it's here, it, this is my bed, I just want to feel okay, this is my bed, I'm safe now. If you feel you want to go back and checking in again, then you can check in again. And you can start to learn how to be with yourself, how to give yourself the space that is loving, supporting, gentle. And this is how you start to heal. This is how you start to be more curious about what is going on for you. This is why when you start to feel better about yourself. So start with this. If you have any questions, Feel free to write to me. I'm here to answer and support you. This is why I'm doing what I'm doing. I want people to feel better. I want people to know that their feelings are actually important. And it, there is nothing that you should be shamed about, that you are not broken. Then you, it is a sacred path to give yourself the space, to give yourself the presence, to feel whatever you feel you are feeling and wherever you are on this journey it's not better or worse it is an experience it is your unique journey so write to me i also have a three day um free uh, a seven day free online course called lighting up head to toe that you will find the link here so that you can um try it out there are practices that you can do um and it is not just originally i created it to women for women who were struggling with orgasms but uh, so many men uh, done that too or if you just want to connect with yourself and find your next steps find your way to um, authentic sexuality uh, it is it is an amazing um, start so here i am for you and have an amazing time and I really, really hope the best for you. Bye-bye for now.